Hello, this is Chris Maynard from CMI VFX. Today I'm going to be taking you through another great Fusion tutorial using the Speed 6 plugins. In this case, we're going to be restoring a still photograph and taking the Alberta Canada photo, adding real time Aurora Borealis, adding a moon, and adding some of the snow animated off of this mountain peak. Now, this original photograph had some of these elements inside. It had the aurora and the snow as a static image. I'm going to show you how to animate those from the still image and turn it into something useful. Let's go ahead and hit the playback real quick. As you can see, the aurora moves, the snow drifts, and the moon, well, the moon just sits there, but at least I can show you how to set it up. So let's go ahead and get started by creating a new document. Get a single view, load in our image, and we'll go inside of your Speed 6 directory and select the uh, Luna Moon Smoke folder, bring in the Alberta Northern Lights file, and go ahead and make it your active view, set up your workspace to be comfortable. As you can see, if I zoom out a bit so you can see what's going on, we have the Aurora Borealis as streaks. And this is a real photograph. This has not been touched up. This is exactly what it looks like at Alberta, Canada on this Pacific Road. We'll go ahead and try to extract a general shape around here. Now we could use a roto or we could try keying it out. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to go ahead and dump in an ultra key here. So, so you can see what's going on, let me go ahead and grab one from my bins directory on the right hand side, which you guys cannot see. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and first tie this in, make it the active view. And we can see that I'm just going to go ahead and select some color in here, try to remove it as much as possible. Now I know that there's going to be some areas that are undesirable and we could try to set up secondary keys but the fact of the matter is uh, that's just not going to work so let's go ahead and just keep on trying to grab points now remember to stay away from the stars as much as possible and once you have a lucid area where you, that you could work with go ahead and grab some of this here okay just keep backstepping in case we're gonna add a mat to this basically I'm just looking for this tree line at first and that's going to be fine so now we can just go inside of the settings here and don't worry about any soft areas this soft areas will be conserved later in a mat so I think this is starting to be okay and maybe grab a little bit more of this green here we can turn our mat size down again so we got most of that I see that we got a couple problems here I want to grab just a little bit and if I bring the mat size back up eh, we're getting close let's grab some of this purple alright now we can bring it back up and we have this nice little halo effect now I don't want to cut out the sky I'm not replacing the sky I'm actually just trying to restore the animation so let's keep that in mind I'm going now to grab a merge and from that merge I'm actually going to replace this background and lay this new item over top of it and I'll make that the active view so basically it's passing through the same layer you can see that there's no seams because it's based on the same image even though we're keying out some of the footage on the top it's just another layer that's identical to the layer on the bottom one has an alpha one doesn't so now we can just go ahead into our speed sits directory and grab the Aurora plugin drop that into place like so and you can see if I just make that the active view we have to go into our Aurora plugin settings let's talk about them basically again you can start off with different settings this particular item I'm going to start off with lights 4 and this is the one that you see in the icon display I'll go ahead and zoom out and we'll talk about some of the settings real quick now you can see the perspective handler this we're gonna play with just a little bit I'm gonna make the perspective look as if we were looking upward and you see how we're getting this nice little halo these little rainbow stripes is what I want to keep in the image so we can just keep on moving them until we get those streaks going similar to what they had in the Alberta it doesn't have to be exact but just get them as close as you want or change them if you like them that's no problem now you can see the inner size ring if I change that it's going to bring everything out but I want to keep this down a little bit and maybe not that much you can see that the rainbow gets kind of restored a little too much there and let's see if what happens when we bring the outer ring 
Let's bring this down a little bit, see if we can get some of the darker values. Now that's starting to look pretty good. There's darker values is what I wanted. And you can move the center of it so that you get the uh, rings. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the original image. I see some green in this ring here. I see some violet here. I want to make it a little bit more pronounced than this. But again, you can use some different masking techniques in order to eliminate some of the uh, aurora that I'm going to add. I like it a little bit more prominent for this particular image because the moon tends to hide some of the aurora and I want it to be very visible. So let's go back in here. And now you can see that I'm actually having a problem with an alpha. It's not really a problem. This is I've done this several times, so I, I'm aware of this. But you'll see that the alpha is now showing through because the Speed 6 Aurora adds an alpha to it. So what do we do? Well, we have two options. We can create a background layer here, and we can drop it into this so-called matte channel. And if I go into the Use Matte, we can take a look at some of the settings. Now you can see that that's gonna, since it's black, it's going to use 100% of the matte. I'm going to hit the invert switch, and you'll see that it still keeps the transparency values there. So how do I handle this? Well, it's quite simple. I'm going to go ahead, I'll leave that background there, and I'm going to turn off the use matte and invert. And you can see, if I go ahead and create one more merge, I'm going to put this as the background layer. I'm going to drop the speed six on top of it. So now we have the Aurora Borealis laying on top of the original image with the alpha transparency that Aurora is creating. And then once again, we'll simply just go ahead and pipe it into this background. And now we have a nice Aurora Borealis behind the scene. Now we can do this in front of the scene or behind the scene. We can use all different types of mats. It's really up to you. Now, since I want to put my moon back here and I want the Aurora Borealis to be in front of it we would set it up a little bit differently. Now don't mind this little edge, you could take care of that with some feathering. However, I'm going to go ahead and set this up slightly different because we're going to add the Luna plugin. Now keeping things as close as possible, I want to just be able to move the Aurora on this back side here. Let's go ahead and bring our key there, the Aurora here and that's going to be masked out a little bit, so let's go ahead and create a polygon mask for now. This is all temporary because we're going to go back and probably change it once we get the Luna in place. 